Hello friends, in this video we will see the K desktop environment of Linux. K desktop environment is a different look, look and feel graphical user interface than the Genome. So we saw Genome uh, in the previous video. In this video we will see K desktop environment, how does it look. Uh, Fedora by default uses K desktop environment. You can install either K, uh, KDE or Genome when you install operating system. You can install both of them and use one at a time. When you log in, you can say, uh, select a session of a genome session or a KDE session. So now we have uh, selected a KDE session. So we have a icon here in the taskbar, kickoff application launcher. So this kickoff application launcher is similar to your start menu in Windows. And here we have an icon which will tell you what are the uh, last plug device. Like if you have plugged a pen drive, if you have plugged a CD drive, you have inserted a CD drive, it will let you know. So you can allow them or cancel it. So we have four different desktop workspace. You can keep your windows in a separate uh, desk space. I have a window opened here. I'll show you show you uh, later about those windows. Uh, we have a system tray icons here. We have a network icon. We have a clipper tool. Clipper tool is a very cool tool. I'll show you what the clipper tool is exactly. And we have a time. So you have a, you can adjust this uh, taskbar. Currently I close this. So we'll go to kickoff application launcher. So in this launcher we have a lot of application categories, everything. So if you want to search for something, you can enter here. If you want a web browser, you can go for, see browser, I type just BRO. So all the, the applications which has a BRO in it appears here. So it's a very fast search. So before getting into search, or oh, we'll see, you can see it says KDE desktop, so K desktop environment. So we have favorites, this will be in the favorites. Applications, if we go to applications, we see a lot of categories of application. So we we'll go to administration, so if you click on administration, you'll get one more menu. It's not a pop-up menu, it's a slide menu. Uh, you might have seen pop-up menu in uh, Ubuntu or even in Windows, it's a slide menu. So you have authentication settings, you can do bootloader, bootloader configuration, date, time, firewall, a lot of administrative tasks, user administration, you can add users, delete users, modify users, add your user groups, delete user groups, modify user groups. Okay. So we'll go back. To go back, all you have to do is, uh, you click this bar, you click this bar, you go back, you, go, you can go to development, you'll find a lot of... Uh, development tools available here so you can also install few development tools later so education so some educational applications that desktop is a globe available desktop globe um, you can see it later so games so we have some games arcade games board games you click on board games a lot of games are available we have uh, seen most of this application even Ubuntu games for kids, a picture game for children, logic games, logic games, you might be knowing Sudoku, Sudoku game is one of the famous game, tactics and strategy, minesweeper, killbots, a lot of applications, uh, game applications are there, if you are a hardcore gamer, then this machine is not your piece of cake, ok, this graphics, uh, there are many graph graphics applications available. You can acquire images. You can uh, convert image using a converter software. Document Viewer. Document Viewer is similar to your PDF reader. Image Viewer. You can view images using this. Uh, paint program is available. Similar to the paint brush in Windows. Page layout. Photo management program, export photo manager we already seen in genome, uh, that's the Ubuntu scanner tool we have, you can scan images, screen capture program, this is similar to the text screenshot uh, program. More applications you need, you have more applications, you can install a lot of applications, these are the default applications which come with the Fedora. So all these are free of course, you don't have to pay money for this, these are 100% original software, so you can download and install it. So that's the advantage of uh, Linux. Go back, we'll see internet. So we have a lot of applications for internet. Torrent clients, the K torrent client, it's a BitTorrent client uh, of K torrent application. 
uh, name is a K torrent. The transmission bit torrent is one more time. You can use any one of them to download torrent files. Desktop sharing, download manager. So Kgate is a download manager. Will help, will help you to download files. Feed reader. You can do the RSS feed. Uh, FTP client. You can use this FTP client similar to an any uh, file uh, filezilla client. I am client. Instant messenger. Copet. Copet is one of the instant messenger client similar to the pidgin which we saw in uh, Ubuntu. You can configure many accounts in this. Yahoo account, Gtalk account. We'll see what are the options available. Sting a little time. Okay. Here. So you can go to settings, configure. You can add accounts here. So what are the, so you can see a lot of options are there here. So you can uh, configure all these accounts. So we don't have to install any Yahoo Messenger or Gtalk application. You can use this directly to access your Gtalk uh, application. So mail client, we have a mail, K mail client, K mail, uh, we have a internet dial up tool, I, IP telephony and VoIP and video conferencing application, Ekiga. So you can do, you can go to Ekiga and use uh, video configuration, conference, you can use for video conference, you can uh, join a conference room, invite and use dial pad, call history. So, you get a lot of applications free of cost. That's the advantage of Linux. So you have mail client similar to Outlook, those remote desktop client, newsreader, web browser. You have two web browser, you can use any one of them. Web browser, uh, Firefox will be definitely available in most of the Linux distributions. So we'll see what else we have. Uh, we have Office Multimedia, Multimedia, Audio CD Creator, Movie Player, Media Player, Disk Burner, the same uh, browser, browser disk player which we saw it in the Ubuntu uh, graphical user video. Seems similar to the uh, same application. So you have Totem Movie Player here also. You, all you have to install the plugins to play MPEG, DivX, XWIT, or this. Uh, Sound mixer, video player, music player. So you have a lot of applications here by default. You can go to Office. Office, you have a drawing program which we saw in the Ubuntu video. Similar, same, same application. It's not similar, same application. So document viewer. This is the PDF reader, uh, similar to Adobe PDF reader. Presentation, project management, spreadsheet, Word. So all the tasks you want to do for documentation, most of them. Not all. Most of them you can do it with this office suit. Uh, open, open office or is providing you Word, Excel, uh, Word spreadsheet and uh, presentation similar to Word, Excel and PowerPoint. So you can change the settings. You can change the default printer, menu, updating tool, Palm OS devices, screen saver. Yeah, system settings. You can change the system, system desktop sharing. So you need passwords for most of them the uh, root password so you have some utilities here clipboard tool clipper countdown encryption tool note key jots so i like key jots and clipper tool very much i'll show you what exactly they are so indic on screen keyboard so it's on screen keyboard which uh, will help you to type if the keyboard is not working properly you can use your mouse and uh, use this on load uh, on screen keyboard Note taker, screen magnifiers, text editor, so text editor available. Okay. You can use this text editor. So a lot of options are available for you uh, with the Linux. So you can have a personal file home folder. You can click on this. You can go to home folder. You have documents. A lot of uh, default uh, folders will be available similar to my documents in Windows. 
So we have system tray icons here. This is the network icon. This is the clipper tool. So what's the clipper tool is? If I time something. Help my computer education. I'll just select this. I'll highlight this. So it's already copied. I don't have to right click and copy paste. So all I have to do is go to the next line and press the um, scroll button of the mouse. Press the scroll button of the mouse, it automatically pasted. You can paste any number of time. Okay, I'll do one more thing now. So welcome to video training. I select this time, this sentence, press enter. I can type this using the mouse. As a control Z, okay. I can paste using the scroll button. Just click the scroll button, it automatically, you don't have to right click and say paste. So now if I want to paste the Hello Mac Computer Education, so I don't have to copy it again. It will be available in the clipper tool. You can see, I can select this, I can paste it, paste it. If I want one more, I can go here, I can see this is the cool tool. So I already copied it sometime. So everything will be available in Clipper uh, uh, tool. So you can configure the Clipper tool. You can say uh, at least it's have a 50 entries which have copied recently. So you can all configure a lot of options are available here and say apply on it. So this way we can uh, use uh, Clipper tool. I'll discard. There's one more tool called KJOTS. I'll go here and say KJOTS. Okay. I'll open the note taker KJOTS similar to the Tomboy notes. So it's a very cool tool. See, this already one book I've created. Right click and say new book. I want to say Linux Advanced. Okay. So if on first page you can create intro. Next page you can create new page. GY. Okay. So now if I click here, you can see it's it's like a page. You can directly go to the page. Click on. Currently, I've not written anything, so it can. It's like a hyperlink. It's like a book. You can open this and create it, and you can save it. Export. You can export to a text, HTML, to a book file. So this will be a cool tool for you to create documents. Uh, if you want to write some documents, a report, anything in the form of HTML, you can use KJOTS. And in the desktop, right click. You can, you'll get a lot of options. Console. Console is the terminal what we saw in uh, Ubuntu. You'll get terminal. Uh, this looks like a DOS prompt. Uh, we'll s talk more about terminal in the other video. So you can run a command if you want a Firefox. You can see you can type it here also. Or, or a search button here also. You can type it here also. You can add panels, add widgets. You can log the screen, you can leave desktop settings, you can go to desktop settings, you can change the desktop images if you want. There's a lot of images available. You can see one of the cool features this globe, satellite view, earth at night. So different views are there. I'll select the satellite view. A globe high interactive. I'll select OK and say apply. So now you can see. It shows the globe this way. You can scroll and zoom it. You can scroll to your country. Where is India? It's India here. You can scroll. So it's not a uh, very powerful uh, like Google Earth, but it's very cool. You can see a lot of locations here. You can see Bangalore, Hubli. This is where I live. So, so it's not visible anymore right now. It says, I stay here in Yalahanka. Near Yalahanka I stay. A midway between Yalahanka and Devanali I stay. So this is the place. So you can see this is more interactive. A desktop which is interactive. You can uh, zoom it, zoom out. Use your scroll button to zoom out. So you can rotate this globe. You can zoom, zoom out. So you can use this globe. You can use pictures. You can use some other image. You can use a slideshow even. 
you can use a slideshow. Currently, I don't have files start for slideshows, so you can use this. This is one of the cool tool. I'll use image. Let's say apply. Okay. So this way we can change the desktop background appearance, everything. Here we also have a computer. You can go to system settings. You can use small settings like here uh, appearance, desktop, notifications, the Windows behavior, how should it behave, display, date and time, keyboard, input actions. This are the uh, few applications, few tools you can use. So I'm not going to explain all this because which you already used in Windows. Simil these are similar. All you have to is try out, try out all this uh, application. You can recently use what are the applications you have recently used, what are the folders you have recently, what are the documents and applications recently used will be available here. And if you want to log out or restart, suspend the disk, that's hi hibernate. So you can lock the screen, log out, switch user from here. Friends, in this video, we saw the desktop environment, the K desktop environment in the Fedora. So, Fedora uses K desktop environment as a default. Uh, I think I'm not sure, uh, but it provides both the desktop environment while uh, during the installation. You can select any one of them, select both and use one at a time. You cannot use both at the same time. So, we learned about Graphical user interface in a key desktop environment. In the upcoming videos, we'll learn more about Linux. Thank you for watching this video.